Hello and welcome back, I'm Marjay Luma and this is episode 3 of Enderal. So, uh, yeah, episode 2 went out in two parts because I had two separate recording sessions for it and yeah, things got a bit funky, but it's okay, everything should be fine now, we shouldn't be seeing any more of those problems at all, which will be nice, so let's head out here. Uh, if you want to hit a frozen enemy with a weapon or a spell, there's a chance to shatter them. Blunt weapons and lightning spells increase this chance. Okay, I have some lightning spells, that's good. Um, yeah. Hi, Harry. Birdie's singing in the background. Are we loading or are we being slow by the looks of things? Okay, there we go. Uh, completed, it starts with the dreams. Okay, cool. So we got that done. That's nice. My god, find a way to get out of the ravine, collect pumpkins to hasten health regeneration, collect mana fungi for mana regeneration, okay. Wow. That's just incredible, isn't it? That is so beautiful. Uh, I kind of want to go back to the beginning of the cave, because I think there was a bit around the side which I didn't look at. So we found some pumpkins, that's nice. Seeing as that's what it seems to want us to do. There seems to be a few around here. Hmm. What have we got? More? More? These are mushrooms, right? These aren't the right mushrooms. These aren't the mushrooms you are looking for. Uh, let's have a look over here. More mushrooms. Uh, not mushrooms. The other ones. There's the mushrooms. The red mushrooms. Mmm, mushrooms. Anything up here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we don't want to go to the abandoned temple again, we've just come out of there. Ooh, more stuff. That's all the pumpkins. Ooh, I leveled up. Uh, right, what do we want? Mana, health, or stamina? I'm thinking stamina. Right, five learning points, three crafting points, and one memory point. Choose an attribute to which you want to raise, but also health. It's 11 stamina. So did we do more stamina-based stuff? I'm guessing we probably did. Right, stamina is normally for... health is tanking, stamina is for DPS generally, and then magic, right? Uh, I'm going to take some stamina at the moment see what happens. Um, right, so now I think is the time when we want to go into that meditating thing, right? Uh, let's pick these up as well. Let's just... that looked like it could be something, I don't know. Um, right, if I go like this, items, map, magic. Nothing in here. What about if I press H? There we go. Right, so I chose more stamina, right? Stamina for sprinting, Power attacks and for blocking. Ah, okay, maybe that was the wrong one. Uh, stamina is empty. Power attacks are reduced to normal ones. Your stamina regenerates itself over time. Yeah. Fungi or booze speed up the process. Oh, cool. Booze actually helps with mana regen. That's good. Arcane fever is at 12%. Right, that's where arcane fever is. Experience points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So arcane fever deserves mental health and magic as a magic user. Casting healing spells using health potions or being at specific locations raises fever. When your fever increases, you first get malai once it hits 100%. You die. Yeah, probably a good thing we didn't stay in that room for that long then. Okay. Um, dying is probably bad. Right, so we're level 2. We've got 5 learning points, 3 crafting points. Receive crafting points. So we need guides, right? And so we need books and things, that's what we need to find. Now I've got two memory points, which is cool. Uh, right. Yeah, I think we need to go back to the meditation place. That's probably a good idea. So, I kind of want to go sneaky sneaky. Uh, so let's go Shadow of the Wind first, right? Tier 1, 7% higher critical hit chance and 25 seconds duration. Okay, this memory 
unlocks the rogue disciplines for you, your stamina regeneration is boosted by 20% and you receive the talent Shadow of the Wind which lets you move more silently for a short period of time. Right, tier 2, tier 3, right, cool. Yes, unlock it. Tier 1, Shadow of the Wind. Now we can go to any of these. So this is stronger bowstring, so or strong bowstring, sorry, skilled hands, concentration, fire arrow. Mm. Eagle eye. So this is very much like the our archer tree, okay? Uh, with some So it says trickster, right? It's, it's the trickster tree. So but it seems very much like you do archer damage and yeah, a little bit of thievery and things like that. Ranger here. So I'm wondering if you can pick all three of these or if you just go up one. So rapid shot, replica, or if you need all three to get the next one, I don't know, we'll find out. Whereas this was assassin, right? Suitable armor, says vagrant, ointment law, seems very much like alchemy stuff to me. Poison cook, wind walker, sensitive tongue, sorry, yeah, sensitive tongue. Alright, oh, so we probably get poisoned less, I suppose. Place, experimenter. So this is perfect fit. Seems good for armor, right? Brewer, snake blood, high dexterity. Cool. Was this the assassin one then? So infiltrator, yeah. Which would also be pretty cool, right? Heart shot, knife thrust, assassin, hmm. flash powder. Interesting. Um. For now, I think I'm going to grab the arch one. I like archery. Strong bowstring, right? Memories of the trickster combine the effective use of a bow with lock picking. Sounds good to me. Um, tier 1, bows do 12% more damage, which is good. Bows do another 10% more damage at tier 2. Uh, so, back a moment. Can I, like. Oh, I think I can upgrade this to tier 2. Right, okay. I won't do that. Yeah, I think it's more important to grab, say, this, so we can put two points into this. Okay, that's interesting to see. So now our bowstrings will be more. What does skilled hands? Increases. So pick. So all locks are twenty percent easier to pick, and your armor rating increased by five percent while you have a bow equipped. Oh, cool. That's nice. Concentration firearms, yeah. It might be worth sort of going up here. Suitable armor, what does that do? Memories of Vagrant teach the usage of poisons, potions, and light armor. Light armor is 17% more effective, light armor is not 15% more effective. So actually, just picking up the first level here would be kind of good. Um, was there another armor one? Yeah, unhindered. Light armor does not weigh anything and does not slow you down. See, that would be very nice, but I'm not sure I'm going to go this far up this tree. Um, might come up this one. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, over here, what do we have? See, blade dancer. So one-handed damage. Yeah, that's another sort of build I like normally. Uh, so probably dual, dual-handed. Power attacks with one-handed weapons. So there's nothing about armor in here, is there? Right? No, I don't think so. Um, shield wall. Keeper, Juggernaut, Heavy Armor, so that's the Heavy Armor one. Barbarian, two-handed weapons, naturally. Hmm. Wow, you, you could get some pretty complex stuff out of this, I suppose. Iron Maiden. Hmm. Uh, so, focus, gain, depth, concentration, dual casting. Wow. Right. So just heavy and light armor by the looks of it. No medium armor. It looks like this might have something. Where is it? Gone. I saw something. Arcane interference, right? Which allows you to reduce your arcane fever. Okay. Mental adept. Shield nourishment. Arcane resistance. Resistance by 10 points, yeah. I don't know, anyway, let's get back into the game. You can sit here and look at these all day.
Hmm. I like it. I think Archer build, Ranger style. It, it's my go-to um, character build, really, to be honest. Is that something flying above us? I think it was. Uh, so, with that in mind, I definitely think it's a good idea to equip the bow now, right? Can we have, hang on a minute, what is it? F? I think a knife is good. Q, yes, excellent. So we want to put an F over there. These should always be equipped. And then we probably want to go to magic and put an F here and here as well. So when we press Q, yeah, there we go. We can find stuff easily. Okie dokie. Uh, have I hit caps lock? I have. So if I just right now, Q, let's do that and heal ourselves, right? Although I think fully healed and actually I shouldn't do that because Arcane Peeva rose to 15% yeah I suppose that makes sense because that was one way to um, you could just heal yourself continuously in Skyrim right and you would gain restoration uh, experience you can't do that here you get ill which is an interesting uh, mechanic to say the least uh, we still need to find more of those mushrooms don't we so I need to be looking around like here there we go Three of three, there we go, found them all. Uh, heals health instantly. Moon carrot. Oh, cool. Plant sap has already been exhausted, so we can possibly use it again later? I don't know. Wow. You can see where they've put the effects of the wind passing over. Because I'm a crazy guy, I want to get up on the side here. Holy crap. I suppose it could be water spray or something? I don't know, there's no waterfall here. Maybe there's one further down. Yeah, there is, look. So it's water spray. Oh my god. The graphics, the graphics. Abandoned tower, okay. Ah, <sighs> maybe something to kill soon, that would be nice. So I want to increase sneakage as well, right? So I'm going to keep going with that. So I think stamina was the right way to go. Uh, bowl of Ancient Nation, value 8. Ancient Nations, it's good to take Ancient Nations. So I'm going to get my bow out just in case. I need to react quickly. So what I'll possibly do is also sort of focus elemental magic as well at some point. Maybe not straight away. Uh, tame, tome of Flame Bite, because I kind of like the magic and it can be a good backup, right? You don't get quite as much range as you do with a bow, I don't, most of the time. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see, I'll be like an arcane trickster, right? Something along those lines. Hello, hello. That is a another mud elemental. Oh no, it's a cave troll. Looks similar. We're actually doing a ton of damage to it here. So now, oop, we go like this. And we say bye bye. Excellent. Lost a little bit of health. It hit us once or twice, but that's okay. Uh, old iron arrow, which is the one I fired at it. How many arrows do I have left, actually? Let's have a look. Uh, ten. So I'm going to have to be careful there. Use traps to your advantage by defeating enemies with them. Ugh. Oh. Ouch. That's painful. Corpse guy just sat here. More human flesh. Interesting. Uh, what is that? A magic symbol. One of 100 magic symbols collected. Okay, interesting. Ancient crystal coin, old sword, corpse, more human flesh. It must be like mummified human flesh or something, right? Ambrosia, that could be useful at some point. Yeah, I think I need to eat some of those. We could use the health potion. 
No, I think that's more for in battle, right? Uh, ice claw carrying capacity permanently. Oh hell yeah, lovely. That's great. Um, inedible beer. Decrease stamina regeneration for thirty seconds. Okay, that's just something. Yeah, bad, bad, bad. Mana fungi we don't really need, but this four health for seven seconds, right? Because the potion here is nine health for four seconds, so the potion is just quicker. So we want to avoid this like hell. Come out here because I reckon the other way where the door is is where we're actually meant to go. And I think I've already missed an area or two, so I want to uh, try and explore everything, really. Although that looks like it could be a way out. Coin purse. Ooh, spell tome, life absorption, detect life, iron ore. Torches are always useful. Mana potion, another battle longbow. It's minor battle longbow, I think it is. Old vagrant dress. Let's have a look at this. Um, weapons. Yeah, mine's it's exactly the same. Oh, brittle longbow even, not battle longbow. Uh, apparel. Right, so this is a bit heavier. Worth less. Uh, and the same armor. But it probably looks better. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, what do I hold? X to rotate around myself? No. F? There we go. Yeah, that definitely looks cooler. So we'll be wearing that from now on. Uh, yeah, not that stuff about. Plus the robe is worth more money, so we're going to want to sell that, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could get up there. I want to see if there's any more of those mushrooms that permanently increase stuff. That's pretty awesome, right? I want to find some more of those. Uh, but I think that's it in here. Oh, more arrows. Oh god, I'm glad I got those, yeah. That's nice. We can't be doing with running out of arrows. Okay. Can we get up there? Maybe from the front here. Oh, there we go. Have I been up here? I think I have, haven't I? Yeah, anyway, right. Onwards. Onwards! Stay away from that bloody thing. And through the door. To the sun coast. Excellent. So that was the old tower. <coughs> Troll had made his home in there, but that's okay. And we are now moving on. God, that's a long way down. But yeah, look at that. That's amazing. The effects in here are incredible. Friend or foe? Coastal deer stalker. Yeah. So. Oh. Right. Oh. Get some meat. I think we need to recover some more health here. Um. Pumpkins. Yes. Pumpkins are good. We do have an apple as well. We can eat that later. Uh, I think the magic is so much more powerful than the longbow at the moment. But yeah. Ooh, he has killed a climber. Do some gloves. That's nice. We can maybe sell these. More stuff to sell. Bows. Life absorption. Right. So we want to have a look at our tomes. We've got two life absorption rank ones, right? We may as well learn it, right? Absorbs three points of health from the target. It's not the best, but yeah. So I've already learned this and I've got one to sell, right? Flame bite, a gout of fire that does six points of damage per second. Targets on fire take extra damage. We like fire and detect life uh, in the area and can be visible through walls. Right. Uh, good, I suppose. Yeah. Let's see. I think we're okay at the moment. Mana does regenerate, so that's good. 
no Curtis magic cry or something like that. Uh, no, that's uh, detected by something. What? I don't detect anything. That's worrying, isn't it? Something can see me, but I can't see it. What's that up there? I want to get up there. Were we up there? I don't think we were. What's detecting me? Guys, I, so I don't see anything. And I'm slowly slipping down, so... We can't climb up there. Got to keep an eye out on whatever's detecting me, right? Is there someone down there that looks like a camp to me? It's, uh, is that something? That is... They don't seem like bad things. They're pigeons. Hard fights require tactics. Press mouse button 2 while blocking to execute a bash attack. But they can probably be dumb for food, right? So I'm guessing it was those guys detecting me. And the fact that I just got that message tells me there's going to be a hard fight coming up. There is a wolf. Get a sneak attack on him. No, I didn't mean to fire that one. I meant to get somewhere that... Oh god, there's lots of them. Get somewhere that they can't get me, right? Okay, they're not coming close. Which is kind of a good thing, I suppose. But I don't want to get down off here, because then they can mob me. So that's what wolves do. I can't get back up here. Hmm. Do I just jump down? Those two deer stalkers. Are they so far away I can't see them anymore? Is that them over there? It is. That's a long way for a bow shot though. I'm going to slowly walk back, then I can maybe get a shot on them, right? Hmm. Let's see... Ugh, well that was good. Can I pick that up again? No, apparently I can't. So let's move this way a bit. Oh, are you kidding me? can't pick this one up. Has that guy seen me? Sensed me. I don't think I hit him. Ah. Okay, let's go around a bit where I, I'm not shooting arrows into a piece of wood all the time. So that's highly annoying. It's like shoot above the log, shoot above the log. No, no, you want to shoot into the log? Okay, fine. We saw how much damage that one did to us up the top there. Where have they gone? Have they gone over there again? Ooh, okay, run. Right, take the high ground. Worked for us before. Where are they? Where have they gone? They're over there. Okay, this AI is a little bit annoying. Why aren't they just like running around down here and letting me shoot at them? No, 
know what. Ooh, that got him. That got him good. Where is he? So that's good. Where's the last guy? They're kind of acting like wolves as well. Oh, I'm out of uh, right knife, maybe. Okay, it doesn't seem good. Ouch. Okay, run away. So he's running off again. Yeah, there we go. Right in the head. Lovely. So, get one of the arrows back. Wolf pelt's always good. Where are the other two? One should be here. There we go. And one should be also around here somewhere. Hmm. Old vagrant hood. That sounds good. be another wolf around somewhere. Dead wolf, but still a wolf. And I saw a crab over there, right? Are you actually an enemy? You are. Okay. That's a uh, river crab. I think we can take you out. There we go. Again, probably just for meat, right? No, no meat. Oh, how annoying. Oh well. So that was good. Combat's interesting. Kinda, sorta. Let's just have a look at this. Uh, old Vagrant Hood. Yeah, cool. Let's put that on. And we got some gloves, right? Let's put the gloves on. Gloves are good. Protect our hands from the bowstring. Or our wrists, even. Um, iron Dagger. Or a knife. They both do the same amount of damage, and the knife is weighs much less and everything. I think the knife is fine, and it looks cooler, I think. Let's keep the knife. That's cool. That's fine. Um, yeah. And I'm going to put a cut in here, I think. X marks the spot. Ooh, well, we'll find out about that next time. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying the series. If you are, please do hit the like button down below and leave me your comments. I look forward to reading them. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, uh, guys.